Don Desjardins. I'm the director of research at the Baron Edmund de Rothschild Chemical Dependency Institute at Beth Israel Medical Center in New York. Um, and can you talk a little bit about what harm reduction is? Okay. Uh, harm reduction is a pragmatic philosophy that uh, focuses on trying to reduce the individual and social harms associated with addictive drug use when it's not possible to completely eliminate addictive drug use. Um, and what successes have we seen with harm reduction, uh, specifically in the United States? Uh, we've seen dramatic reductions in uh, HIV transmission. Uh, over the last 15 years, we've seen an expansion of syringe exchange programs from three or four that started up in the late 80s to about over 200 now, and during that time we've seen an 80% reduction in HIV transmission among the Czech Republic. Um, and what about globally? Have there been any advances in harm reduction around the world? Well, globally, uh, particularly in Western Europe, in uh, Australia, and parts of Southeast Asia, we've also seen dramatic reductions in uh, HIV transmission. Uh, we are, however, seeing ongoing HIV epidemics among drug users in Eastern Europe and other parts of Asia, so uh, it's a very mixed picture. Uh, in places where HIV is under control, we're now starting to address hepatitis C, overdoses, uh, abscesses, uh, the variety of health problems associated with uh, illicit drug use. What are the challenges to making uh, harm reduction and needle exchange more widely accessible? They're primarily uh, political overcoming stereotypes about drug users and overcoming the false belief that doing things like syringe exchange leads to more drug use. It actually leads to uh, reductions in drug use because you can use syringe exchanges to get people into drug use treatment. Um, and what gives you the greatest reason for hope in, in terms of how HIV, how this aspect of prevention has been developing over the last few decades? Uh, just the, the tremendous successes in reducing HIV transmission, uh, much greater than anybody had ever expected. I mean, the, the two great successes in HIV prevention uh, since the epidemic was first discovered are preventing mother-to-child transmission and preventing trans transmission among the victims.